Hey guys, what's up? This is Chase023 bringing you another video. Today I'll be unboxing a miniature arcade machine 1 6 scale by New Wave Toys. This is one of my hobbies, collecting quarter scale and six scale arcade machines. I already have the quarter scale Bubba Bobble from Numskull and the six, 1 6 scale Dragon Slayer from New Wave Toys. I still have the 1 6 scale 1943 and Cubert on its way whenever they are ready to be shipped. These are cool to collect and bring nostalgia from our arcade days for those who remember the 80s and 90s. In the future, I'll be making a game room with full, a few full-size arcade games along with other things, so check them out. In this video, I will just do an unboxing and do a quick overview of the machine, but nothing specific. But if you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them in the comments. I'm still new to this and hopefully trying to keep it interesting enough to have others watch, like, and subscribe. Let's get started. Yeah, let's open this up, see how it looks. Uh, I gotta be careful. Still not to cut too, too much. Yeah, I took off the label just in case, you know, for privacy issues. But anyway, so yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, they pack it pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's packed in two boxes. Yeah, there you go. A main box, and then they have an interior box. So look, looks like a, a crate from, if you bought this full size, they'll probably put in some kind of crate. Kind of looks like that. But anyways, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Wow, 1942. Yeah, it comes with a little uh, bonus arcade stick. Put this to the side and save save this anyways. Yeah. They packed it pretty well. I like the graphics on here. It looks pretty cool. Gotta put it away just in case, all right? Don't wanna cut myself or anything like that. Yeah, I got, as I do more videos, I have to make it, I have to sound more natural and not sound so, you know, stiff in the videos. Make it sound a little better and improve the video. And, you know, as I get going, maybe get a better camera instead of using my phone. So, anyways, take a look. Wow, looks pretty cool. Look at that. That's a, a start screen. Instructions. And then the main. Let's see. In the, Oh, you know what? Let's try opening this first. Wow, look at that. Comes with a little joystick. Pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Has a little detents. Nice. Button actuation. Pretty good. And then here's the main machine right here. Let's pull that out. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's like the old, uh, old style of 1942. Usually the cabs are, you know, what do you call that? Repurposed from um, what do you call it? other cabs, and they, you know, have a kit to convert it. But this one is like an original case, right? Let's put this away. Take, taking care of the box a little bit. Why not? This is a pretty nice box. All right, take a look. Oh. Nice. Charging cables, um, I guess there's two. I, probably one for the joystick to hook up to the machine to play. If you're playing two players and the main player can play on this. Also, you could probably um, project this onto a TV or another thing. There's the plastic. Oh, nice. Look at, look, look how cool that is. It's not too bad. It's pretty good, actually. Take a look. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. I mean, quality-wise, I'd give it a, uh, you know, high, high rating for it. Volume control, power, speakers. Don't know what that is exactly. And your, um, charging cable, and you could plug in your joysticks that way. Two joysticks. 
Wow, looks nice. Well, let's try turning it off. Usually there's a little bit of power when, when they ship these things. If this has a lithium battery, it should have a little bit charged. So let's see if it works. Or maybe I might need to charge it. So oh, looks like I probably, oh, no, it's on. Mm. Buttons. Yeah, they have a look at the traffic outlet. Oh, there it goes. It powers up. Look at that. Wow. And then size wise, look, similar to my um, six scale Dragon Slayer. It's not bad. You can make a little arcade. Oh. Let's see if the ball, where's the volume control? It's on. on high. Let's see. Oh. This has a. Uh, yeah. Wow, the response is pretty good. And it put yeah. Well, that's the second button to flip this key. Oops. Well, anyways, that's just a quick. Let's actually do a close-up of the screen to get a better look at the uh, startup and menu screen from Capcom 1942. And here's the menu screen, game selection. You can either pick 1942 or 1943. And there's game difficulty. You can turn on the marquee lighting, backlight control, player one and two switch. Scan lines, three on uh, starting lives, and bonus life. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, all the controls. But anyways, I just want to show you that. And also take a look at the control panel. It's pretty good. And the way it feels, it feels pretty good. The buttons and the joystick. And see that little top secret sticker? You can, it comes with it. So either you could, you know, decide to apply it or not. I just put it on just to make it look cool. But anyways, here. There you go. There's the um, 1942 mini arcade. It's really nice. It's pretty well made. And I have the 1943 on its way, so we'll, we'll unbox it and you know check it out. It's probably a little bit different cab than this one. I like actually I like the cab. Yeah. And it says there's a button here. Press up for credits, down for menu. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.